Why does old Keemstar look like a librarian that bangs freshmen? Now to give a bit of context here, this is a picture of like old Keemstar back in the days when he looked like a, I guess, old, and then this is Keemstar now, who aged quite a lot, or changed, ever since he's been at his young ages. And for that, I have been saying for quite a while, Keemstar is old. That's true. That is 100% true. But you know what else is true? The my tweet. Why does Keem look like a librarian that wants the wants to bang freshmen? Well, the reason why I said that. Okay. To be fair, I didn't say high school librarians, so don't take me out of context, as you will. I'm not trying to call Keemstar a pedophile, because I'm not. What if I say college librarians? Fucking of age, students. Okay. That that sounds stupid. Welcome back to another episode of the Helmet Xavier Show, where we have a lot of on the docket tonight, because, well, um, there has been, you know, you know how Keemstar has his show called The Keemstar Show, and he's been doing that shit with Sal with another YouTuber called Savo Pancakes, who is actually going to be relevant throughout this whole video. So, as we all know, Keemstar has started some, like, random ass podcast called, um, Keemstar Show. He's trying to go for that, like, you know, streaming bit. You know what I mean? Like, going for this whole streamer thing. You know, what streamers do, you know, go from one screen to another and then react to some stuff live with a co-host. It's some weird shit. It's kind of something, like, H3 does or something that, like, I don't know. It's that podcast with some ordinary gamers and uh, Oompaville. So, yeah, that's that's what he has going for them. So, the reason why I'm talking about them today is because, one, I don't really like the podcast. It sucks cock. And other is because of Salvo Pancakes, one of the co-hosts in the, in the show. Now, me personally, I haven't really had much... I don't really have much feelings about Keemstar. I mean, I really don't give a fuck about the guy. I mean, all he does is just, like shit on people online and just like seeks attention which is i guess what most people does on what people what more people what everybody does online but i don't know i think i went i think i have to beef with keemstar in order to like have that big popular opinion that everyone has that everyone like i don't want to say this as a I, I i just said it but like i don't want to label this as some just popular opinion to just ever it's cool to hate keemstar or whatever the fuck i don't want to say that but like I, I understand why everyone hates Keemstar because he's said and done a bunch of dumbass shit in the past or in the present too. I mean, he's still doing dumb shit. It's just like people, I don't know. Keemstar is just an uncancelable fuck. He's like that, what's it called? Ditto or some gum like, you know that fucking gum from Sausage Party or whatever the fuck? You know, you shoot it, but then he comes back to life in some way. That's basically Keemstar. He says some dumb shit. You guys try and cancel him. But then he just suddenly reappears. Like, holy shit. I feel like if this was anybody else, they would, like, get belliterated to shit and just, like, completely, like, wound off the internet. Like, holy shit. Like, there's, like, a video of goddamn Keemstar 10 years ago saying the freaking N-word. And he's, I mean, it, right now it's a goddamn meme for six, but it's still freaking weird. Like, holy fucks. My favorite dumbass Keemstar moment was like when Keemstar just goes on his like goddamn show and just be like, why am I still getting hate? 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 I feel like Keemstar has this like one motive like where like he has to be right at any moment in time and even when he says dumbass shit or he says something wrong, he's just gonna double down or just defend it like at all costs because one, he's just not gonna because one, well, he I don't think he likes to be wrong and he and I that's why all I, I feel like that's what his defense was or if he actually believes that then he I don't know he might actually be stupid like that or no. You don't know, middle-aged man, you know, get into getting into YouTube drama. I also don't like that shit. I don't like that Keemstar just, like, push, gets himself into drama. He fucking sucks at it, too. And getting destroyed on Twitter is a daily occurrence for him. I've seen, like, an episode of this where, like, it's where Keemstar talks about the situation with McJuggernuggets and Emily Saxon, I think that's her name. But they were going back and forth because Emily had, like, you know, had got exposed 
exposed McJuggernuggets for like being a transphobic fuck, but apparently. And then Keemstar decided to just run to his show and then make a whole episode about it. And overall, he, he just had McJuggernuggets and Emily argue for like in, in half of the podcast, per se. I watched that on stream like a couple months ago. It was like, I don't know, it's kind of boring. I mean, I feel like I know it's just a debate thing. Maybe content is the other content isn't like for me, per se. But goddamn, it was like. I don't know, it was really, I couldn't really sit through that. Also, I feel like I can find this, I can, like, find the type of content Keemstar does at another fucking channel. Like, if you are desperate to watch, like, the Keemstar show, you can watch, like, another channel, like, um, I don't know, RFC, I guess, like, maybe, or something like that. I'm not sure, except Boggy has people in the calls and not people in person, but who cares? Who do needs that shit, right? I mean, it's fun streaming by yourself. Where now that Salvo's gone, the sh where I'm gonna get to in a minute, Salvo is now gone out of the show, or at least for now. And uh, whatever the fuck, now Keemstar's just—it's just gonna be Keemstar and his girlfriend, and maybe Chris the Narc. I don't know. I, I remember he was there, but I don't know if he's in or not. But like, now that it's just Keemstar and his girlfriend on the like talking for like the entire an entire podcast like how do you sit like I, I like salvo carried the keemstar show like the keemstar show wouldn't be where it's at without salvo and now that salvo is gone the keemstar show is going to be on a big ass decline it's going to be the ethan decline of the podcast i don't know why i just said that but it's the decline of the keemstar show Salvo carried the entire shit, and, um, like, no one's gonna want to watch Keemstar and his girlfriend talk about random-ass drama. Like, that's, like, you can find that other somewhere else. Watching the Keemstar podcast is like watching, like, two, like, two game host shows that, it's like watching two game sports commentators watch a sport game and not know where the, what the fuck are they even talking about. That's a weird ass comparison to make, but that's the best comparison I had. So now we're gonna get into some recent shit that happened over like the past few days. So Salvo Pancakes, one of the co-hosts of Keemstar's podcast, uh, there are allegations against it where he where he ended up cheating on his wife with like a billion a girls. A bunch of DMs came out of Salvo. And his wife left him for that shit. And, uh, yeah, Salvo's a total weirdo. So it all started when Salvo made some Discord message basically saying, Goodbye, everyone. I'll be back 2024. Remember, innocent until proven guilty. At everyone, thanks for a good 2022. I'll be back in 2024. We'll see who's around then. I know I'll be. Well, if you decide to quit in 2023, I assume you will not be around in 20... You won't be around. Or at least no one's gonna give a fuck about you. This is when the start of the allegations against Salvo has decided to start reappearing. A bunch of messages has decided to... You, you know, a bunch of people have decided to drop their DMs against with Salvo. Saying, what the fuck, Salvo? You know, exposing Salvo for, I guess what he's into or i guess cheating apparently and he he also got dropped or at least his news team because he had a news team called the salvo news team that shit also turned on him and now salvo is just finding the grief of dumbassery i don't even know what it is this one's one of the most what the fuck messages i have actually seen on freaking the entire world or at least my history of looking at exposed dms what the hell is this Holy shit, Salvo, you are fucking weird. 